Okay, so to figure out why the engine was running so rough, I figured I'm gonna have to get a scan tool or take it to get it scanned. Something's gonna have to happen. And I've always wanted my own scan tool. But I, I'm just not knowledgeable enough about what does what or, you know, whatever. And I know I didn't wanna spend a bunch of money and get a glorified code reader. You know, I wanted something powerful, but cheap, you know, and very compatible. So, I probably researched it for two or three days and still could not make any kind of a decision on what to get. And I finally stumbled upon something that was just so cheap, you know, and still probably more than I needed right away, you know, and, and compatible and everything that I, I just couldn't pass it up. And it's just a, it's, it's got a, it's got a, uh, name brand maxi scan but what it really is it's just an ELM 327 OBD2 to USB adapter and I found some free software put it on my laptop hooked it right up found the problem no drama I loved it this thing was literally less than five dollars shipped to my door I mean, I just, I couldn't pass it up, you know? Found it on eBay, I think I was just uh, searching ELM-327. Now, I will say, this is probably a clone, so it may not be as compatible as the, what is it, 2 or 2.0 or 3.0 ELM-327 chips that they have now. ELM is an actual company, they have a website, and um, I found somewhere where, I think 1.0, the ELM-1.0 chip, was not um, copy protected so the code got out and then of course all the Chinese people started making clones of the chip so that could be what this is but for five bucks I was willing to try it and as you'll see in the video it worked great so I recommend it if you don't have one looking for something cheap have a laptop you know can find the software easy solution okay so there's the USB adapter and it looks like class 2 data link high um, throttle body performance and map sensor insufficient activity so I think the uh, PO 105 is one I'm gonna focus on but I'll probably look up the 1514 as well but yeah that was easy no drama connected right up once I had the vehicle set cool well, I guess I'm off to get a map sensor. I was pulling it off to check it, and the plastic is broke. I assume there's some kind of nipple down in there that I need to get out. But yeah, definitely need a new map sensor now, so maybe that'll uh, get rid of that code. Okay, so new sensor procured, and look at that, the orange seal comes with it, so I think I'm gonna try to run a wood screw into that little hole or something, and then pull the whole thing out, because I can't get a hold of anything there. Well, that was pretty drama free. This final, some, uh, somewhat small screw, screwed it in there and pulled it out. Got the new one in. So now I'm going to run it and make sure it uh, doesn't get the weird idle again. So, yeah, I mean, that was just stupid easy. I, I was so happy that I was able to find the broken map sensor. That probably would have been a head scratcher if, I, if it wasn't. For having this you know and having the software to read the codes and point me in the right direction right away as far as the software I found a website I can't remember what it was if I find it, I'll put a link in the description but they were doing um, comparisons between them all and once again I really didn't know how to how to even compare the softwares so I found what I could find as far as uh, free downloads on three of them or maybe two and I got them both, and the first one that I tried, and it's in the videos, worked, so, you know, whatever. But, yeah, I can't stress enough how cheap and simple this was for the easy fix.